Hello everyone and welcome to our video series on Learn German for Beginners. In the previous lesson we learned how to formulate sentences in imperative. In this lesson you'll be learning how to give directions, especially when you're in a city and looking for some place. It is advised to watch a video on in der Stadt to know the names of various places that you find in a city. The link is given below. So let's begin. Lektion 40 Wegbeschreibung We'll first learn three very important terms that we require for giving directions. The first one is links. The second one is rechts. And the third one is geradeaus. Noch einmal links, rechts, geradeaus. Great! Now we'll be doing some structures where you can use these words. So here's the first one. Gehen Sie geradeaus. If someone asks you for directions, this is how you answer. In the video, we'll be doing many such structures. We would advise you to learn them. Here's the next one. Biegen Sie links ab. Oder fahren Sie nach links. And if you know the name of the street, you can say Gehen Sie links in die Kürtelstraße. Similarly, the next one. Biegen Sie rechts ab. Oder Fahren Sie nach rechts. And if you know the name of the street, you can say Gehen Sie rechts in die Schülerstraße. You might have noticed that all the sentences are in Imperative. If you want to revise Imperative, you can watch our video on the same. The link is given below. Now let's move on to the next one. Gehen Sie bis zur Kreuzung. When you have to pass by something, you would say Gehen Sie an der Kirche vorbei. Do remember, if the article of the place is the, you would say an der, for example, an der Kirche. Let's move on to the next one. Nehmen Sie die zweite Straße links. Similarly, the next one. Nehmen Sie die zweite Straße rechts. You can also say dritte Straße, vierte Straße, etc. And the next one is Überqueren Sie an der Ampel. If you have to go along a street, you would say Gehen Sie die Straße entlang. You can also use the name of the street. When you are at a roundabout, nehmen Sie die erste Ausfahrt im Kreisverkehr. Now let's do some structures which will tell us about the position of some places. The first one is Die Kirche ist an der Ecke. The next one Die Bank 
ist dem Rathaus gegenüber. If you are wondering what the words gegenüber, an, entlang, etc. mean, well, they are all prepositions. If you want to revise prepositions, you can watch our videos for accusative prepositions and dative prepositions. The links are given below. If something is located very far away, you can say Nehmen Sie am besten die U-Bahn oder den Bus. Now let's see how to use these structures in practical life. Here is how you ask. Entschuldigung, wie komme ich zum Hauptbahnhof? Why we are using zum is explained in the next slide. Let's come to the answer given by the child. Das ist ganz einfach. Nehmen Sie die erste Straße links und dann gehen Sie bis zur Kreuzung. Der Hauptbahnhof ist an der Ecke. After someone has helped you, you should say Danke. Usually one replies with Bitte. So, you can ask, wie komme ich or wie weit ist es zum oder zur. The use of the preposition depends on the article of the place. With places which have an article der or das, you would say zum. Wie komme ich zum Bahnhof oder zum Rathaus oder zum Tierpark. With places that have an article die, you would say Wie komme ich zur Apotheke oder zur Bäckerei oder zur Bank. A list of places you generally find in a city is in our video in der Stadt. The link is given below. Let's look at another example. Entschuldigen Sie, wie weit ist es zum Rathaus? Now since the article for Rathaus is das, you would say zum Rathaus. The answer in this case is Das ist ganz in der Nähe. Sie können 10 Minuten zu Fuß laufen. Here's another question. Entschuldigen Sie, wissen Sie, ob es in der Nähe ein Restaurant ist? Ja, es ist der Kirche gegenüber. Let's look at another conversation. Entschuldigen Sie bitte, wie komme ich zum Alexanderplatz? Da nehmen Sie am besten den Bus oder die U-Bahn. Here is another example. Entschuldigen Sie bitte, wo finde ich hier eine Apotheke? And if you by chance don't know the way, you can say Es tut mir leid, ich weiß es leider auch nicht. So these were a few examples of how to formulate questions and answers when you are asking directions. Try to formulate some of your own. Well done! Hope you enjoyed this lesson. Danke! Thanks for watching this video. If you like this video, do give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave them in the comment section below. Tschüss! Auf Wiedersehen!